Do you have a link someplace on your LinkedIn profile that's not showing the right preview image? In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to update that social share image so that LinkedIn is reflecting the right image. Let's get started. So to start off, I'm gonna show you an example of what I'm referring to here as the social share image. On my profile, I have a position as member and national speaker under Innovation Women. It's a membership organization. I'm showing this in my experience section. And I have a couple links at the bottom. You're gonna see some tiny thumbnails at the bottom here. Now at a quick glance, I can tell that the bottom thumbnail, it's the wrong picture of me, which means it's not pulling in the right picture from that page. So the right cached image isn't being pulled in. So here's what you need to do to change up that process. So what you wanna do is you wanna pull up two web pages. The first is the web page that is reflecting that image. So in this case, I'm pulling up my Innovation Women Speaker Profile web page. You can see here, my headshot photo is a little bit different. I'm wearing a different color top, so that's why I know it's a different cached image that it should be pulling in. So that's the first thing, the web page where you want it to be pointing to. The second thing is you need to load up this page. It's called the LinkedIn Post Inspector, okay? And you can see here, there's a box on the page that says enter a URL to see how it's shared on LinkedIn. Now, the interesting thing here is that LinkedIn is a site that's very unique compared to some of the other social media sites in that when it is displaying a web page image, it's displaying the image as it appears today. And if you were to go back in a week, a month, a year, and you change out the social share image on the website, LinkedIn is not gonna reflect that in the image itself. So you have to actually go back to the post inspector page, plug in the URL and click on inspect, and then it should update accurately. So let's do this now. I'm gonna copy the URL for my speaker profile page on Innovation Women. I'm putting it into the enter a URL box. So I use control C for copy and control V for paste, a little shortcut there. And then once I've pasted it inside there, I'm gonna click on inspect. It's gonna cycle through for just a second or two here. And then you're gonna see that LinkedIn is gonna pull out and it's gonna say when this link is shared, the content will look like this. And now the new image is displaying with my new headshot photo. Now to check this out, I'm gonna go back to my LinkedIn profile. So I'm back on my profile here and I don't see it reflected here yet. If that's the case, I want you to keep in mind that LinkedIn's like a ketchup bottle sometimes. You need to give it a whack. And we do that in the form of just doing a web page refresh. So in this case, I'm gonna go up to the URL address bar at the top and you see that little circular arrow it's like a circle with an arrow on it. it says reload this page click on that symbol that's like the effective whacking of the ketchup bottle so linkedin knows that we've made a change and then scroll down to that section again and we should see an updated image reflected there let's see now if for any reason you've done the page refresh you've run it through the linkedin post inspector the thumbnail image still isn't updating it may be a little hiccup in the LinkedIn system. So what I'm gonna to do to try this out is I'm gonna click on my pencil icon in the experience section. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom where the media section is loaded in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add in another instance of this page. You know the interesting thing, by doing this video, I realized what I had done here. When I first added in the media link, it wasn't displaying the page in the way I wanted it to. So let me just show you what it will display if I add this link in. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that and click on add. Now LinkedIn will pull in whatever it can find from that web page. So in this instance, it's just showing my profile photo and it's pulling in information from that Speaker Innovation Women website, which is really just the top information from the page. When I first loaded this in, I said, well, that kind of looks funny. And this is actually exactly reflective of what you're seeing inside the post inspector. So I'm gonna click on apply just so you can see the difference here. So it's showing my headshot photo. And what I was hoping to show instead was what my speaker friend my Speaker Innovation Women page looks like. So what I had done in this instance is I had done a hard screen capture. In the case that your social share image isn't reflecting what you'd like it to be, you can do a little bit of a workaround here. I'm gonna click on print screen right now, and then I'm just gonna grab a snippet of the web page itself, maybe even a bit more showing the video in there. Now I've, that I've got that snippet of the page that's been captured, what I can do is go back in and I'm gonna correct the original one. I'm gonna click on the pencil icon here and you're gonna see here, this is actually an image, it's not a link pointing to the web page. So I'm gonna click on the pencil icon and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my photo gallery where that was saved. I'm gonna open and pull in that new cached image that's reflected in here. I'm also gonna grab the website link 
for the speaker.animationwomen webpage, and I'm gonna paste it inside the description field. Now when I click on Apply and I click on Save, you're gonna see the difference here. So in this instance, the first image is showing the, speak, the social share image from the website with the information. It's not really what I wanna reflect there. I really wanna show them my speaker profile on Innovation Women. Now you certainly could do a little bit of a workaround if you want to keep that photo link inside there. And what you would need to do in that instance is just click on the pencil icon for that. You can actually manually change the thumbnail to be whatever you want it to be. It doesn't have to be what it's being pulled in from the social share image. And then you can actually go inside the link here and you can put a description of the link and then you can even say book Brenda. Let me just reflect this again. Book. Brenda as a speaker for your event. So you can change the title, you can change the description, and you can even change the thumbnail. And the beauty of this is when you change all that information, you're gonna notice that it's still gonna be clickable to that page. So let me just click on this right now, and you can see here, if I click on view, it's still gonna be clickable to the website there. So a couple different ways of updating your social share image using the LinkedIn Post Inspector, using a little bit of a workaround, and some modifications that you can make. Now, one thing, one last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete out the duplicate since I was giving you all these examples here. I don't wanna have two of these reflected in here. I'm gonna click out that last one, delete that out, so I only have one instance of my speaker page that's sorted in that section. So there we have it. I was actually starting this video by showing how to use the post inspector, but I think this worked out pretty well because now I've given you a couple different options on how to display different types of links in the media section of your LinkedIn profile and your experience section if the social share image isn't reflecting exactly what you're looking for. Hey, I hope you found this video helpful. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'd love it if you could give me a comment below. Let me know, know if you did find this helpful and also subscribe to my channel and click on that bell notification so you get notified for all videos like these in the future. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on LinkedIn.